everybody. Hello and welcome. Thank you all for being here and joining us this evening for our annual Fastest Growing Companies Awards Reception. Uh, the Fastest Growing Companies has a special report which includes 50 of the Tri-County's Fastest Growing Companies with eight Editors' Choice Awards. Um, this evening uh, we will honor those uh, companies and hear more about the Editors' Choice Awards in a little bit. I'd also like to welcome all the folks from the 50 companies. They are all invited here this evening and we'd like to welcome all of you as well. Um, I would especially uh, like to thank our sponsors this evening. They um, uh, help us to make put this together and make sure that we can have a beautiful evening like tonight. Um, our gold sponsors are CBiz and Union Bank, and we'd like to thank and welcome those folks as well. And our silver sponsor is TWIW Insurance Services, and so thank you all very much for um, being here. I'd like to give them a round of applause. Um, you'll hear more from our gold sponsors in a little bit. Um, but first, I would like to introduce our chairman and editor, Henry Dubroff. Thank you, Linda. Uh, this is Linda's first event flying solo as the publisher of the Pacific Coast Business Times, and I think we should give her a big round of applause. And also, uh, congratulations to Jennifer Hemme, our marketing and events coordinator, who is responsible for, well, she didn't make the food, but she's responsible for organizing the room, this great display of uh, hors d'oeuvres, and uh, making the trains run on time. So, thanks, Jenny. Now, I'll just talk for a second or two about the Business Times and our fourth annual Fastest Growing Companies event, and then I'll ask our sponsors, our gold sponsors, to join us on the podium. Um, for those of you who are new to the Business Times, uh, we are the weekly business journal for the Tri-County region. Uh, we recently announced a digital version of our main news product, and uh, we have a special subscription deal for you on the back of your program. Um, you can also subscribe online at packbiztimes.com, P-A-C-B-I-Z times.com, and get access immediately to our main news story so you don't have to wait a couple weeks until the newspaper arrives. And I don't know, do we still have a discount code SPIRIT that's working? I think if you type in the discount code SPIRIT, you might get a special deal. Um, I also want to talk a little bit, the fastest growing companies, is an event that's easy to produce in theory because it's quantitative. We look at revenue from uh, the past two years, 2008 to 2010, subtract the higher number from the lower number, uh, do a little division and get a percent change, and that's how we rank the companies. Uh, getting many of you to submit your revenue for the past couple of years is a little more complex, so we really appreciate the 50 companies that not only achieved revenue growth, but were willing to talk to us about it. So, uh, double congratulations. And I would like to have a round of applause for all 50 of our fastest growers. <laughs> now I'd like Jason Horseman from Union Bank and Veronica Quintana from CBiz to come on down to the podium and tell us a little bit about why this event is important to you and what can you, what you can do for all of us. So, uh, Jason. Thank you. Thanks, Henry. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Jason Horseman, manager for uh, Union Bank's commercial banking group. Uh, on behalf of Union Bank, we're honored to be a uh, partner here this evening for this special event to help recognize uh, some of the individuals, corporations, who uh, share the mission of the uh, Pacific Coast Business Times and Union Bank. Uh, we're pleased to celebrate the growth of these organizations 
uh, we're honoring tonight. Uh, they've proven that uh, these companies have proven they've got sound business plans, sound strategies, and strong people to move ahead with confidence. Uh, I think you'll agree these honorees have a uh, bright future uh, ahead of them. Uh, again, thanks uh, everyone for attending, and uh, congratulations to uh, to all the honorees this evening. Thanks. And now, Veronica. Quintana. Thank you, Henry. My name is Veronica Quintana, and I'm a manager at CBIS, Mayor Hoffman McCann. We are honored to sponsor the Fastest Growing Companies event again this year. We would like to commend all of the companies recognized this evening for their efforts to challenge these tough economic times to not only survive, but to thrive and grow their businesses. Their willingness to grow, create new opportunities and employment, which is a vital element of the financial health to our region. At CBIS and Mayor Hoffman McCann, we share their entrepreneurial spirit. Several of these companies are clients of our firm. As their accountants, their tax planners, their trusted advisors, we work with them to refine and implement their strategic plans. We look forward to working with them in the future as they grow into the leading businesses in our community. Thank you. Now I'd like to have one more round of applause for our sponsors and also for our silver sponsor, TWIW Insurance Services. Uh, I know several members of TWIW are here and we have uh, a token of appreciation for all of our sponsors which we'll present uh, at the end of the program. So, in looking through the fastest growing companies, uh, our editorial team, led by Special Reports Editor Jim Logan, uh, made some Editor's Choice Awards. And um, Jenny, if you'll join me this, uh, up here at the podium. Uh, you can't be in journalism without handing out a little hardware, and uh, we're really excited about our Editor's Choice winners uh, this year. Uh, I think one of the ideas of picking this group was to kind of capture the diversity of business uh, up and down the Tri-County Technology Corridor. And of course, it wouldn't be a whole lot of fun if we started with the first and went down, so we're going to do them in reverse order. and. Um, introduced you to our Editor's Choice winners for this year. So, finishing at number three, uh, number 43 uh, is a company from Santa Maria called Hardy Diagnostics. Now, I know Jay Hardy really well. He's built a fabulous building, business, building uh, cultures, growing cultures for laboratories. And on Friday, uh, he bought a division of Gibson Laboratories in Kentucky, essentially buying out uh, one of his busy, biggest competitors, and he sent me an email said, I'm going to be a little busy on Monday. But let's give a nice round of applause to Jay Hardy. And now, coming in at number 25 is Nyman Energy Corporation. This is a company that caught our eye a couple years ago. Uh, we didn't even realize that they were in our market, but uh, partly because they cleverly list on the Toronto Stock Exchange. A little hard to follow them that way. But uh, they, uh, they have assets uh, in Wyoming, in the San Joaquin, offshore in Louisiana. Um, their revenue has gone uh, from $10.7 million up to $14 million. And Alicia Phillips and John Wimbush from Nyman Energy Corporation of Carpentry are here this afternoon. So let's give them a warm welcome uh, here at the Fastest Growing Company. Santa Barbara, you really want to keep a low profile. <laughs> so, 
So anyway, thank you very much. Uh, growing a company in the South Coast has been great. Um, we find a lot of great people here. Uh, there's a lot of great support services. Uh, we've loved it, and we really appreciate your support. Um, you guys picking us up. I heard us on the radio the other day when we finished a, um, a small equity offering, so I was really happy about that, and we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. We have had something a little unexpected happen this year, which I forgot to mention, which is that KBY is filming this event uh, for the first time. We're going to see how that goes. And uh, we have a radio commentator from KVTA who's going to be hitting some of our winners up for interviews. So we'll see. Uh, just don't forget to mention that it's the Pacific Coast Business Times. <laughs> the fastest running company in the world. Okay, number 22 is a company that I have admired for a long time because they do something that we haven't figured out how to do, which is to say they have a group of talented people. They leverage their talent across the region, the West, the country, in fact, the world uh, in IT services. Uh, they've grown their revenue by 40% over the last two years, which, alas, we have not. So please welcome Chris Hanna and Nova Coast. It's an honor to be here to accept this for Nova Coast, and uh, I can say from my, my personal experience that it's a place where growth can happen because employees are really encouraged. And I'm an outside rep business development, and so Paul couldn't be here to receive the award. But um, I've, I've been given every freedom to pursue new business in new ways, and I think that's part of how we grew in the time when the economy was down. If you read the article, much of it says that. And I just finished reading, and those are Paul's comments, but it's really a boldness to go out for business and to do it in a way that is affirming to each of the employees in the group. So um, we're excited about what's possible in the Tri-Counties. Again, I think we're in Santa Barbara because it's a wonderful place to live, and the owners feel that way. Uh, so the headquarters is there, but the, most of the business is, uh, is outside of the U.S., it's kind of outside of California, kind of engineers without borders. Um, but it's my personal responsibility to see that more business happens in this area. And so I'll be excited to, to um, pursue that with a lot of you here. And thank you very much for the honor. Thank you. Okay. By the way, he's accepting resumes, so. Uh, our, next, our next winner, we move to number 19, and this is a large company, the, the kind of company that doesn't really get the recognition they deserve in the marketplace, uh, Semtech. Uh, they're a specialized semiconductor computer chip maker. They have almost 1,000 full-time employees uh, in a very difficult and competitive market. Uh, working globally, they've grown their revenue from, I'm not making a rounding error here, 294 million to 454 million dollars. Um, they're moving into areas like uh, uh, smartphones. Um, they have uh, gotten into broad, very broadband ethernet uh, with acquisitions. Um, they're number 19 on our list, so please welcome Ken Berry from Semtech. Well, on behalf of the employees of Semtech, in over uh, 20 countries, we're global as well. And uh, as he mentioned, if you've got a cell phone, and I can't talk about who we do this for, um, we do your backlighting, your chargers, and your electrostatic discharge protection. And your Samsung televisions as well. And uh, uh, the company has grown tremendously, and we're really happy uh, for this award, so thank you again. You know, one of the things that, if you just stay there for a second, Ken, one of the things that absolutely drives me crazy about Southern California and my beloved colleagues in the financial press, you know, Semtech is a 
put a billion class market cap company. Um, we watched carefully, and Marlies Van Romberg, our finance editor, and Stephen Nellis, our technology editor, they actually watch when earnings cross, and usually we make some note. Um, we can go for months in, in this market without seeing some of our colleagues at very large newspapers, not, you know, I won't mention the Los Angeles Times, or, <laughs> or, <coughs> or, or even our colleagues at the start, you know, sort of not noticing a billion dollar market price penalty. So on behalf of the Tri-County region, we appreciate what you do. Keep up the good work. Thanks. Talking about my competition, great, wonderful. Okay, our next company. We go from the from the very large to a really cool small growth company. These two gentlemen did uh, a couple years ago what I did uh, 11 years ago, which is they took a big leap. Um, they took a chance on expanding in a difficult recession, but they've got revenue growth. Um, they make some really cool technology testing equipment. Uh, they're based right across the Santa Clara River in Oxnard. So please welcome number 18, Exterior Laboratories, and their CEO, Lorenz Cartellieri, and Technical Director, John Kim. Thank you very much for um, for inviting us to this uh, event and uh, for giving us a whole page of uh, write up here. Uh, happens rarely. <laughs> so um, yeah, we've uh, been somewhat fortunate with the expansion idea. It was uh, not a good idea at the time. At least it didn't seem like it, but it turned out well. And you know, you often read about the stories where things go well, but you sometimes don't read so much about all the stories where it didn't turn out. It could have just as well not turned out well. But luckily it did, and uh, so we're expanding, and in, uh, at least for Ventura County, we actually have served mostly North American markets and international markets, but since last year also focused more on Detroit County and on uh, um, delivering testing services to Ventura, the Oxnard area, and Santa Barbara area. So we're looking forward to actually expanding our business, helping more the local industrial companies here with testing their products and components in our full-size laboratory in Oxnard. So, I'm actually happy for the exposure here. It's uh, hopefully it will do us serve as well. Thank you very much, everybody. We're so excited they almost walked out without their award. Um, Our next, uh, our next winner is number five, and they've been on our list uh, for a couple of years. Uh, Intet Shelf, based in Goleta, they're a leader in medical robotics. This is a field, now, just stop for a second. These guys have 450 installations worldwide of their robotics devices, starting from, you know, little old Goleta, um, you know, just sort of a, bump on the road there on Highway 101. Um, their revenue has exploded from seven and a half million up to 20 million. Um, they're our number five company. And uh, so please welcome Dan Weigel and, uh, and In Touch Health. I think uh, here, here to now is probably most recognized as being uh, Bonnie Weigel's husband, so for food here, so <laughs> I'm, here. I'm actually here for myself today. Uh, we're, we're very honored to be counted amongst the companies that are being recognized here today. And on behalf of Dr. Yulin Wong and the rest of the team back in Goleta, um, who are hard at work trying to revolutionize the way healthcare will get delivered, um, it's an honor we uh, have been growing by leaps and bounds and in an economy that has has been very, very tough on, on, on most of our competitors. 
We're taking the opportunity. We've added 14 new people in the last two weeks. We've got 25 more that we're trying to add, hopefully in the next month and a half. And we would invite anybody that wants to find out more about what we do um, to come out and take a look around, and we'd be happy to show you the place. So thank you very much. Okay, so now, uh, okay, so we have a mystery. Uh, is Tim Deere here from uh, Fast Spring? Okay, well, let's hear it for Fast Spring, our number one company. Uh, they were trying to work up until last minute to get their finance director, Tim Deere, here. Uh, they've grown at a clip of 1,351.5%. Your e commerce software company. So let's hear it for Fast Break. <laughs> now, why don't we do this? We have Alex, our photographer here, and folks from KDY so far. If our editor's choice winners and our sponsors would come down to the front, let's take a couple of photographs. And um, thank you very much. We Our next event is. 40 Under 40 at the Topa Tower Club on October 16th. Um, October 17th, uh, we'll be announcing our 40 Under 40 recipients, and I see a few of you in the room uh, from past years. Uh, you don't look a day older. Um, we'll, uh, we'll see you on October 17th at the Topa Tower Club. And uh, thank you uh, for participating this year in Fastest Growing Companies.